Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Muhammad Afan Hafiz, Pihak Taslim, ID Metric CD19140 and in this video, I am going to present my application uh, which is Eden Hafiz Learning App, AR Mobile Learning App uh, based on the Z, Bahasa Melayu Z sub-module. Without further ado, let's move on to the demonstration. Now, I am going to demonstrate on how to use my application from my device. First of all, let's open up the application itself. Here we have the main menu and then if you want to use the application, just click on start. Then you will need to point your camera towards the markers. I have my markers right here, so I will point the camera towards my markers. This is a Zirafa marker. I'm going to mute this first. This is the Zirafa marker. And then this is the Zoo marker. And then this is the Zip marker. And that is basically how you use the application. Now, Let's talk about usability heuristic, okay? First of all, um, visibility of the system status. Okay, as you can see, there's three buttons down here. We can see that right now, I am actually muting the video. So, if I click well, here... giraffes are tall mammals that... Yes, so you can see the system status if you click on the icons. Next, we have match between system and real world. You see these buttons? They can... They are using familiar icons which users can recognize so they based on real life um, representation and then user control and freedom you can see there's a back button right there so user can go back navigate to the main menu and also if users wanted to use their uh, Android buttons sorry Android button down there back button they can also use that and then next we have user con um, consistency and standards well, as you can see here, the Zirafah marker, we have the position sorry, the position of the icons here is the same as the position as the zip. It has not been changed. The icons are using the, steel, the same color, the same icon. Also for the zoo, same user, same icon. And next we have recognition rather than recalls. As I said before, I, these icons, user can... Um, actually recognize them rather than th thinking oh this is something new so they recognize the icons and flexibility efficiency of use well users can easily man uh, navigate towards ev everywhere around this so it's very efficient you have the button up there you can also use the back button here and then lastly the aesthetic and minimalist design as you can see the main menu has been designed by me from scratch it's very minimalist it has a uh, flat icon applied onto it and then next I will describe the design of suitable marker for the application so this is the marker that I have designed in Photoshop um, there's the Zirafa word and then there's the Z word and the background is just Z Zirafa this is the zoo it has zoo animals on it it has the zoo word the Z and then this is the zip they have patterns and then the zip here and then the zip and the Z button the next, we are going to describe the five elements content in the the application. Okay, I'm going to mute this first. So we have the video here, we have um, the text, we have image here, we have a 3D object, and then we have animation. The three object, the three D object has been uh, implemented with an animation. As you can see, it's moving. It also goes same goes to other markers as well. This is the zoo. We have text, we have image, we have video, we have 3D object here, this is a tree object, and then the 3D object is moving up and down slowly. So there's an animation. Zip also has all of those elements. We have text, we have 3D object with animation. I'm gonna pause that real quick. And then we have video, it's moving, there's a video there, and then we have the image. And next, um, discuss how you construct 3D objects. Well, actually, 3D, these 3D objects were not constructed by myself. I actually import them for, from websites such as Free3D and Sketchfab, those kind of project, uh, websites. 
and then lastly discuss your three interaction with multimedia manipulation so as you can see down here we have interaction that users can use so we have the pause and play button we have the animation stop and play button and then we have the mute button so right now i am muting the video so if i click on this what is the tallest animal in the world say you can you can hear the audio being played and then we have the uh, pause and play video here i can click on that and the video has been paused you can't if you don't trust me then i'm going to try it on this so that there's the video playing so i'm going to pause the video see the video has been paused and then we have the animation the animation button here you can click on okay let's see the animation is being played so i'm clicking on the animation button it has stopped so the play it will stop the animation for this object if i click it again it will move and i think that is all that is all for this project thank you